Hi loves and beauties and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Ashley J. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley J. And in this video, um, as you all know, 2020 is officially here. I figured why not do a uh, get ready with me slash goals for 2020. So if you're interested in what a college student slash CEO slash part-time worker slash YouTuber and someone that's trying to grow their social media account goals are in 2019, then continue watching. That being said, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to prep my eyes with some Neutrogena um, eye gel and then I'm going to go in with Hangover Good in Bed Serum. So the first thing that I want to mention is that I want to reconnect with God. Um, if you don't know, I do believe in God. I um, Both my parents serve God. So I do feel the need to grow my connection with him again. Can't seem to balance out life. Talking about balancing out life, as I mentioned earlier, I do work part-time at my college as well as go to classes full-time because I do live on campus. And um, I also am trying to manage my business, AJ Beauty. And I am also trying to grow on social media. So don't be afraid to go follow those. And don't be afraid to subscribe right now but i am trying to balance this thing that adults call adulthood and it is harder than i thought because i cannot seem to like find that balance between work school business and social media i did stop being on social media for a long while because i just didn't feel like it was really important and now I have to go on social media again. I'm not going to pretend like this pimple is not here. So, yeah. But now I have to, you know, go back on social media and grow my social media in order for my business to be successful. It's been a bumpy road. And I'm thankful for 2019 because in 2019, I was able to do a trial and error of my business. I'm still learning, but I was able to get an understanding. I'm going to take some Too Faced primer. I have been struggling to post. But with that being said, in 2019, I will be trying to post every day, but I will try my best not to be annoying. And that involves like my Instagram account and um, I'm trying to get into Twitter. I'm not really a Twitter kind of fan. And then um, also I'm trying to get into TikTok as well. I kind of like it. I downloaded the app for fun and uh, now I'm like low key addicted. There's that and definitely YouTube. I definitely want to grow YouTube. And I just want to take a second to just thank you to all those that subscribe. When I started my YouTube channel, it was back in 2009 seven i uploaded like two videos and then i disappeared um at that time um i was able to get 12 about 12 subscribers ever since i started to upload again it's close to 20 i think i, I exactly have 19 right now so i'm really thankful for all those that subscribe thank you so much it means the world when people you know watch my videos and they actually enjoy them i'm gonna go in with my sephora foundation i just want to be the best that i can be and i appreciate any feedback for my videos for my website um for my instagram because there are times where like i post stuff it doesn't make sense or like i'll post it and i won't notice that i misspelled something or didn't write something like grammarly correct and that's just honestly because like by the time i post something on social media i'm like half asleep or something so like it's not fully clicking up there if that makes sense and that's another thing too like i do struggle with managing my time i always plan out my time perfectly in the beginning of the semester but i'm not i'm a girl that likes to be spontaneous i don't like a schedule i like to wake up and experience the difference in each day if that even makes sense i won't be able to stick to it because i'm just not i don't function that way i'm still learning ever since i started my website i've been given tips from like a couple of people you know fix this and fix that and i'm really thankful for that so thank you for um you know shouting me out on my errors and um talking about my website right now i'm I'm like trying to relaunch it because like I said 2019 it was really a year for me where it was just trial and error everything and when I started AJ Beauty I just kind of jumped into it because I'm one of those people that like to just jump into something then conflict hit me and then I realized okay this is what I need to do to change things around that's the way that I learned how to grow that's just how I learned from my errors because the best way to learn is by mistakes I'm gonna take my elf brow pencil it's kind of old but it's 
it's the best brow pencil that I have been using. I love this. So with AJ Beauty relaunching, I do um I do have new products. I'm gonna be putting new products all out. Everything is gonna be new. I want to change the tubes up, and I, I'm probably gonna be changing the prices up too. And I'm really hoping that with my business ends up growing to the best that it can be, and that I can even start to even think about um having influencers help me with getting more customers. People when I first started, a lot of people kept reaching out to me. It was like your products are really pretty. Um, I could see you put a lot of time and energy into them, but they wanted me to pay for a post. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I do believe that um influencers deserve to be paid and stuff. But as someone that just started my business, I don't have funds to pay you three hundred dollars for a post. Not guaranteed that I'm gonna get the results that I want to get. Just because I get followers doesn't mean that they're gonna go and buy my products. I'm gonna take my L concealer. But yeah, like I was really grateful that you know somebody noticed my social media accounts and people were noticing my website i didn't do too much into it i just like kindly told them no thank you but thank you but yeah so with my you know relaunch and everything i definitely want to focus on that big time because school is looking really shaky for me right now and i'm just trying to find the strength to stay in college and continue because i'm the type of person that don't like to just start something and then stop short like if i start something i need to finish it college is one of those things that i want to finish because um even though i do kind of regret the reason why i went to college which is like a long story i already started going so i'm gonna finish i need to finish with something i'm already in debt i need to get my degree in something make it worth something but because the college experience let me tell you something it's not it's not what it is i don't like it maybe it's just me but my college experience sucks it could just be because of the college that I went to. Anyway, that's kind of my thoughts on that. And um, I'm just trying to get my GPA up. And talking about grow, I'm also trying to grow my hair. It's the reason why I have box braids right now. And um, also too, I just been struggling with finding the right products for my hair. I was fully natural. Um, I have 4C curly hair, very kinky, very thin, but it is very hard to maintain. So I started texturizing it. And it's been easier to maintain um, being that I'm in college. I don't have a full day to be sitting there working on my hair um if i'm not in my dorm room i'm at work if i'm not at work i'm at classes if i'm not at classes i'm at some kind of meeting or i'm trying to sit there and figure out my life or i'm doing homework or something so i don't have time to be doing my hair so i texturize my hair and it's been working out fine for me so far now i'm gonna take my elf contour palette with growing my hair and everything it's just been rough trying to find products that are gonna work perfectly for my hair my goal is to find out what is on my hair and how to actually work with it. I figured out what was wrong with my skin and my skin's been clearing up nicely. I've been working on my skin lately. And the last thing that I really just have to um talk about is just learning how to save. I need to learn how to save and become more of a business woman that thinks smart about the decisions that she makes with her money. I'm gonna use the Jackie Ina Anastasia palette. I'm gonna go in with Credit, Ginger, and Zam. I'm gonna start off with Ginger and then go in with credit and then go in with Zam. I need to find a way to save my money because when I started my business, I wasn't making funds from my business and I kept spending money and spending it and spending it on my business, but I wasn't getting that money back from making sales. So with that being said, I'm trying to learn how to make sales and then buy more products instead of doing it the opposite way, which is why I'm just doing the relaunch. I, I hope that this is going to be successful. But I mean, that's kind of it. I just, I want want to be the best that I can be in 2019. Ugh, it's going to be a minute before I realize that it's 2020. I want to grow from who I am now. And I love this palette. It's so pigmented. Oh my goodness. It's so pigmented. That is my goals and what I want to accomplish for 2020. I'm not going to go in with eyeliner. I don't feel like doing it. I am going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And then I'm going to spray my face and set my face. So I really I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did comment like and subscribe um i'm just one girl that's trying to be more involved in the beauty community and i'm also trying to grow a business that i'm really excited about i did at one point i was thinking about growing my business in the sense of getting vendors to send me glosses and then i sell them resell them but the glosses that I have, I have them all handmade. Like everything is handmade on the website. 
except for my mink lashes i get them specifically from um, a pacific vendor but i i do find some kind of peace in making the glosses myself and i also get to be creative with my packaging which is something else that i'm working on in 2020 with that being said go check out ajbeauty.com because i even have um blogs on like makeup looks and stuff like that on the website you don't even have to like you know buy anything I'm gonna go back to my contour palette because I didn't highlight and I'm also gonna pop some highlight in my crease eye area. I want to grow my social media account. I want to grow my GPA. I want to grow my hair. I want to get clear skin. I want to balance life and I want to learn how to save money correctly. This is a lot that I want to do. I'm actually contouring right now. I'm just kind of lied. I'm gonna do highlight after. <laughs> I hope everyone has a blessed 2020. And I hope everyone has success, whether it's marriage, being in a relationship, and talking about relationships, I'm not interested in being in a relationship right now. I just, that would be too much to manage for me. If it happens, it happens, but I'm not like looking for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, If you have a business, I hope that you're able to be successful. If you're a college student or just a regular student, I hope that you're successful. If you're just, you know, that average person that goes to work every day. I hope that every day, or at least some days, you can put a smile on your face and be happy. And um, the last thing that I'm going to do is just apply some lip gloss. Now, the original tubes aren't this, this color. It's a hot pink. But nonetheless, this is one of my glosses that I made. And that's my logo. If the camera would focus, if you can see that, it just says AJ Beauty. And this gloss right here is called Spoiled. It's not on the website yet, but it will be very soon. Um, maybe by the end of the week after this video is posted, it definitely will be on the website. I'm going to try to post this by the end of the day because I do want this to be up. Like I said, I just hope that everyone has a really blessed 2020. And I hope that you guys all have a really blessed year and just keep your goals in mind and go for them. I can apply this all day. I don't need to apply no more, but I'm just going to keep applying this. <laughs> Like, I just, I love lip gloss. I just, I love it. Thank you for watching this video so much. It means the world to me once again. And with that all being said, like I said, bye-bye. And go check out my Instagram account. And go check out my other social media accounts. And um, if you follow me on AJ Beauty um, on Instagram, and you're also like a lip gloss company or like um, a beauty cosmetics company, I will follow you back just for the support. So just keep that in mind if you're watching this and you make your own glosses or you sell your own beauty um, items and stuff like that. With that being said, I have to go. So bye bye for now. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Like I said, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And comment down below what goals do you have in 2020. And um, just let me know. Like, I want to know what you guys are interested in and what you guys are trying to achieve in 2020. So with that being said, bye bye. And I love you guys.